Listen, quick. Well, what's that? Never mind. Go on, get out. I can't. The warden told me to stay here. you fool. Do let him find you here, you sap, you dumbbell. Go on, go on, get out. No, sir, it isn't. It drives the guards nearly crazy. Sometimes they keep it up all night, kicking about the grub or something. Yeah. And the guard, Gleason? Yeah, thanks. What do you make of it? I don't know, sir. Sometimes it's just pure orneriness. Then again, they'll pull a stunt like that to cover up something. Cover something? Downstairs, quick. See the two guards at the gate. Get the fingerprint man up here right away. Okay, sir. You didn't do this, did you, Bob? Oh, no, sir. Who did? I... Who did it? I don't know. Yeah? How long have you been sitting in here, Katie? Ever since Mary went to the train. You haven't been out of this room, not for an instant? Why, no. Why? Anybody go through here toward my office? No. How about Galloway, the butler? Galloway brought me some tea, but he went back into the kitchen. Yeah, you're sure about that? Yes. Why? Yeah. Hmm. The guards below don't know anything about it, sir. They didn't see anybody come up and they didn't see anybody go down. But they slipped across the corridor to get a look when the noise started. Yeah, then somebody could have used those stairs. That's the way it looks to me. Yeah, we'll round up Galloway and all my private servants for bloodstains. Yes, sir. Quick, before they get a chance to get them off. Okay. Who did it, son? I don't know. They can't get away with that. You were in this room when that man was killed. No, no, sir. I wasn't here. What? I wasn't here. I went... Went where? No. What do you mean? Nothing. I... Nothing. And yet you say you don't know who did it. You're lying, Bob. You're lying to shield a murder. What are you going to tell them at the inquest? Inquest? What are you going to tell them? What are you going to tell a coroner's jury, Bob? Nothing. You can't get away with that. The long arm of the law will reach right through these gates and yank you outside. It'll put you in a county jail. I got no jurisdiction then. I'll be just a witness in the box. What can I do? I know you didn't do it, Bob, but that won't prove it to them. They'll hang on you. No, no, they can't. I... Sit down, kid. Sit down. Come on, kid, now out with it. Out with it. Who did it? I can't tell. A man can do anything but squeal. I'll have to take my chance. Chance? You haven't got a chance. You're caught. You're in a net. You'll have to clear this up to save yourself. I can't. You must think fast. It may mean 10 or 20 years at best. I couldn't stand it. No, I'd rather die. Parole's up in town. It's due here any day. The prison board will cancel that. I didn't kill him. I've done nothing wrong. Time you've served for good behavior will be lost. That leaves you three more years to serve. Three years at least. It isn't fair. It isn't right. Come on, Bob. I can't keep you here with me. You'd go back to the jute mill. You... Oh, no, no. You haven't forgotten the smell of jute in six short months? No. You see, boy, you're... You're up against it. You've got to tell. Who killed that man? Come on, Bob, think fast. Who killed him now? Who? Who? Quick! Who? Yeah? Yeah? Then just tell me which way he came. From over there? Or there, Bob? You can't be doing any harm by that. 
I know he came one way or the other. It's just a detail that I'd like to know. I'm over there, Bob. Over there. Come on, be reasonable. It won't be violating your code to tell me that. I don't know. Yeah? You believe that I'm your friend and want to help you? I don't know. Well, I am. I swear I am. I haven't got another thought in this but you. I've got lots to lose myself. I was warden of that man. His safety was my job. His blood is on my head. The press will make me sweat for this, and there's an election coming on, but I'm not thinking of that, understand? Yes. Now, things have been tough for you. It was a rotten piece of luck that sent you here. You've got another now, but that's the way things break sometimes, you know. You've got to take them away the fall. See what I mean? Yeah. You see, you're up against it, boy. You're up against the wall. You're up against it stark and flat. There's only one out for you. You've got to tell. You've got to tell, Bob. Come on, now. Who killed that man, huh? Come on. Won't you, won't you come through? I can't. You trade your life away for a code made up by murderers and crooks to cheat the laws of honest men. You're not a crook. That's not your code. It's all I've had. No, no. This is your code and mine. Hold fast to it, Bob. You can't be faithful to them both. Stick to the law. Don't turn a crook. You're not one. Don't turn your back on this. Come on, Bob. Who killed that man? No, I can't tell. I can't. I can't forget so quickly what I've learned in here. I can't go back on the code. I think their code's right for them. And I can't go back on it. No. Why, I wouldn't be anything then. Don't you see? I, I'd be like that thing in there. No. Yeah. Well, what did you find, Beeson? Nothing. What did he say? Nothing. Well, we'll take that out of him. Come on. Wait a minute, son. I'll give you one more chance. Your parole will be here next week. You'll be outside these walls, free. Free to make a future for yourself. Free to come and go where you please. A home, a wife, kids. Free. Yeah? Or rot right here in this cage for three or ten or twenty years. A rope around your neck, perhaps. The jute mill every day. Year in, year out. The smell of it that makes you sick. Jute! Jute! The dungeon now. A bucket meal each seven days. Cold slop with bread and water in between. No ray of light. No human voice. Black emptiness, that's all. Come on, Bob. No, oh, for what? For what? The prison rules. The prisoner must obey. Who killed that man? Come on! Who killed him? Who? Who? Ah! Huh? Well, all right, Beeson, lock him up. All right, come on, on your way. Come on, get out. He won't be so cocky in a week. Ain't no rough stuff with that boy. Let no one lay a hand on him, understand? All right. I've got to save him. I've got to save him from himself. He's got to tell. He must, he must. Sure, a week of bread and water in the dark will loosen up his tongue. Yeah? Sure. Fingerprint everything up here. The hall, the stairs, the corridor, the body there. Don't miss a bet. I've got to get that bird. I've got to get him. Yes, sir. Warden talking. Send the coroner here right away. Week of bread and water in the dark. 